Oh, not running out of logs today, no chance. Well, good morning guys. Um, I'm here at a place called Kettlewell um, and funnily enough the site's called Kettlewell Camping. Um, only booked it last night, completely last minute. Uh, I was going to do a different video this week and, uh, and I just wanted to get out. It's been lovely weather, it's been gorgeous and then this. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to get away um, just to come and breathe some fresh air, have a fire pit, a couple of beers, you know, just chill out. Uh, so yeah, last minute camping trip. So. Uh, I've done a bit of a site tour, so I'll uh, I'll show you that a little bit later on. Me and Branston are going to go for a wander around Kettlewell itself. I think a lot of places will be closed because it's it's a Monday. Um, I mean the site it's not a big site, um, and he only takes vans up to the size of transporters. So like you know your transits and uh, your bongos and things like that will be absolutely fine. But um, the turning in the gates when you come in is really tight, so uh, you wouldn't get a crafter in, say for instance. But the site's well maintained. It's not that flat, but uh, it's flat enough in the places where you're going to be camping. I am utterly, utterly flat here. The I tried another, uh, I tried another place over there, and uh, and it was just, I don't know. I felt like I were a bit too close to somebody else's. There's, there's sort of a house um, over there, and um, and I thought if I've got my fire pit going, I've got a bit of music on. They live there. Do you know what I mean? So I thought, well. I know, no, they live next to a campsite and it's their choice and all that, but I don't want to be the person that disturbs them today. So uh, I came over this side because I'm near the toilet block. Uh, it's nice and clean and we'll do a chat about that in a bit. But yeah, I'm near the toilet block now. That's there's method in my madness. It's not busy. So we're not going to have loads of people sort of trudging past all the time. Um, I'm right near to where you pour the ashes from your fire pit. So happy days. Um, and it means that I don't have to use my porta potty as often. Um, and I can just nip to the toilet that's just there. If it does get quiet and dark, I'm not going to be all frightened and stuff. <laughs> Using the um, fire pit, the fold away fire pit this time, because 
uh, a lot of you were asking why I wasn't using it uh, in the last video and I'd just completely forgotten that I had it I'll be perfectly honest with you um, and it was just natural uh, instinct to go get the fire pit that I already have in the back garden and put it in the van so so yeah we'll have that fire pit going tonight the reason I'm not cycling or doing any big walks today is because this camp is just a chill out uh, because sometimes you've just got to do that haven't you um, you can't every single time you can't plan a massive route or you can if you want but you know for me I don't want to plan a massive walk and a massive bike ride or a massive hike or whatever it is uh, on every single trip sometimes I just want to just come out and chill out um, boiled this on the uh, induction hob so I'm not wasting any of my gas um, I boiled it at, um, it's got it's variable I'll do a video on it um, but it's got variable power on it um, so you can boil from 300 watts or you can have it on from 300 watts all the way up to 2000 watts and uh, so I set it at 1200 watts and it boiled the kettle in three or four minutes so the same sort of time as it would do on the gas and the kettle whistled this time it's never whistled on the gas so happy days right I'm waffling I need to go so some of you might be thinking uh, why didn't I bring the canopy because I'm thinking exactly the same thing myself <laughs> so let's do a campsite tour um, here is a campsite done <laughs> it's small but it's lovely and we've stayed here before and it's been lovely it's been quiet uh, great family atmosphere mainly tents in the middle um, all around this bit here but then you've got electric hookup all the way around uh, the field which is nice uh, the bins are just behind me uh, not by design I didn't realize they were there until I pulled up but yeah all the bins are just there um, you've got fire pits for hire um, and wood and things like that so they've got those in reception which is quite nice um, showers are beautiful uh, and the toilets are nice and clean it's a really really well built building if that makes sense in keeping with the area and all that loads and loads of walks to do around here um, uh, you can walk into Kettlewell which is what we're going to do in a bit uh, you can walk up hills you know there's a big massive one there um, I, I can't remember what it's called probably Buckton Pike or Great Wernside or a hill no idea <laughs> so the idea of the day is to go into Kettlewell go for a bit of a wander around show you the delights of a probably mostly closed town um, Branson's just having his breakfast now it's pretty early uh, got here really early because it was quiet the letters I mean about half past nine something like that uh, the letters come and pitch up um, I got here before the guy um, uh, the reception guy so uh, and he's been really lovely the whole booking process has been really nice um, when I booked it said um, there's the option for motorhome wasn't it was greyed out uh, so you just put in tent uh, as long as you're in a smaller van like that and then just in the comments put that you've got a transporter or a Vivaro or a uh, Ford whatever it is you've got or a Bongo and uh, and then yeah it should be all right 24 quid for the night with electric hookup that's not bad at all I know we're off season and stuff like that but you know I don't think that's too bad uh, considering I was looking at some sites that were still 40 quid for at night uh, even off season so yeah uh, not bad at all the grass and the ground is it feels really well drained I mean it's been raining so and it's not soggy and horrible there is a um, quite a tough path that comes all the way up in the middle there uh, which is all good and I think I'm gonna show you the showers now and uh, hope there's nobody in there and I don't get arrested so yeah nice also I forgot to mention that there's a pot wash as well uh, three or four sinks and the guy in the quads coming past again so I forgot my deck chair uh, so I'm on this trusty little seat that uh, folds away that stays in the van so a good job I had that otherwise uh, I'd have been crouching next to my fire <laughs> so I got my coat on ready to go about an hour ago uh, the heater's on uh, so I'm stupidly warm <laughs> I'm not feel benefit when I go outside now <laughs> and it's still raining so hopefully it brightens up and then we can go for a bit of a wander around Kettlewell because there's nothing worse than having a wet dog in a van <laughs>
seem to have uh, walked around Kettlewell in about five minutes. <laughs> it's tiny, it's beautiful, but it's tiny. Um, but on a lovely summer's day, sometimes they have the uh, scarecrow festival, which is quite cool. And you walk around, and people have got scarecrows in their gardens and stuff they've made. That's always quite nice. Uh, but yeah, it started raining again now, so I'm going to head back to the van, uh, get chilled out, and uh, get the kettle on, I think. Get dry. <laughs> so the sun's come out and it's really nice and lovely. So fire pit definitely. Bit of blue sky up there, which is nice. Uh, but now it's time for culinary delights with coal. <laughs> Welcome to the Yorkshire Popped Up Adventures cooking show, where I, Colin Charlesworth, will show you how to make an omelette. Not going to do that at all. I'm basically going to chop up some mushrooms, uh, mix an egg, throw it in, add some potato salad that I've bought from. Uh, off of Sainsbury's. Uh, this time I'm going to use a plate, so yeah. And then I've also brought some uh, salad. So that's basically dinner. So let's chop. Uh, let's take that off, not like that. Here we go, look. <laughs> I burnt it a bit because um, I didn't realise there were a temperature thing on this. There's like another button. Again, we'll talk through it when I do a video on it. It has like a temperature button so you can knock it down a bit. I did wonder whether it was just like on or off. Uh, and you could hear the fan there working in the background. That's just turned off. Fan comes on when, as soon as you start using it. But it's instant heat. It's ace. Um, yeah, well happy with that. Mintas, dinner made by electrics, no gas. Um, so I didn't have to vent. I have got the door open because it's really pleasant out and lovely. But yeah, I didn't have to vent. Um, I can cook in the van now without having to vent, which is ace. But we'll still use the gas, obviously, because it'll come in handy when there's quite a few of us. We need a few pans on there, maybe an extra pan on here, uh, which is ace. We can take this outside, plug it into my generator and uh, use the hob outdoor if I'm doing an outdoor breakfast. Oh, yes. Next level, next level, get one. They were, I don't know, I think it was 45 quid. Cheap as for an induction hobby, is that? I mean, I don't know how long it'll last, but 45 quid, not bad. Nice. Right, I'm gonna eat my dinner and not eat food in front of you because that's just weird. All right, see you, bye. So I'm just sat here eating my dinner and the clouds and the mist have gone and I can see more of the hills. And I saw this windy, windy road going all the way up the mountain and I'm like, that's not a path, that's a proper road, is that? I'll do some B-roll of it so you can see. I don't know if it'll show it on this camera. Um, anyway, turns out I've already cycled it. Nice. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's one I can come back and do. It's basically, it's a climb called Park Rash um, and it's absolutely brutal, absolutely brutal climb uh, coming out of Kettlewell. For all those that are interested that watched the video uh, when I did the Dalesbridge uh, camp out and bike ride, because uh, I didn't realise there were so many uh, cyclists that follow the channel as well. So yeah, welcome aboard, that's Mint as. But yeah, uh, Park Rash, absolutely brutal climb. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you because you know, I'm eating my dinner and I've got nobody else to talk to apart from Branston and the camera. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Sorry about my camping hair. Uh, it's gone all camping hair before I've done any proper camping. <laughs> I just thought I'd just mention, see that car there? Um, they're new people, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish setting up and cleaning up. I'm gonna sit down with a beer. I'm gonna watch them argue while they're setting up. <laughs> really exciting when someone new arrives. <laughs> Why is it so exciting when someone new arrives? Anyway, have you seen that big burning ball of gas in the sky? Yeah, it's back. Uh, probably not for very long, but yeah, it's back. Uh, as soon as I've done the pots, um, 
I'll get the fire going, I reckon. Is it too early for the fire? Do you think the fire will be done by half nine if I start it now? I don't know. Should we wait until it cools down a bit before we do fire? I think we'll probably do that. Oh, I love the shiny sun in the van. Oh, this is so nice. So I was just about to do like a washing up montage and I completely forgot and I'm like, oh no, I didn't do a washing up montage. Then I realised none of you want to see me wash up. <laughs> right, so disappointment station nation. Uh, they're actually getting along and uh, they've done a really efficient job of getting the tent up. Oh, it's really annoying when that happens. One thing I could have done if I'd have stayed here for a couple of nights is uh, I could have eaten at the pub, uh, which, I mean, there's two pubs to choose from. Both of them do food, so uh, I think that's always a winner. But there's not much about, I'll be honest with you, um, bring as much as you can with you if you get camped up and then end up planning on not moving. We all know about, like, the... Uh, the UK Three Peaks. We all know about the the Three Peaks uh, in Yorkshire, but then there's the uh, the lesser known Wharfdale Three Peaks, uh, which is just here, which is Buckden Pike, Great Something, and then something else. So yeah, come here for all the information. Every time I come camping, he's not having the bed ready. So I've got it ready. Nice. So that basically just means I need to roll out my sleeping bag. Done. Oh, oh it's almost, is it time for bed yet? <laughs> Fire pit's looking nice. Just needs a bit more stokage. But uh, yeah, it's looking nice. Um, campsite's quiet um, and still pretty empty uh, as it is. But it's nice having a toilet block there because I can just go for a wee whenever I want. Uh, without having to mess around with the portal loo. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, this is the life though, innit? This is the life. Everybody always asks where Branston sleeps. Um, and he's really, really happy in the front. Um, he actively jumps in there and he knows that it's bedtime when he goes in there. Um, usually around eight o'clock, he's like, I've had enough of life. I just want to go to sleep now. I wanted him outside with me next to the fire, but you know, he was just moaning and he kept looking at this door. He's like, can I go to bed now, please? So I opened the door and he just jumped straight in. So yeah, he loves it down there. He feels all a little bit cocooned and stuff and there's enough room in there for him. So um, mistake number one, not bringing a proper deck chair. This is great to sit on every now and then if you're chopping some wood or you're gonna sit in front of the fire for 10 minutes. But when you wanna properly chill out, you, there's nowhere to sit back. So I've moved the whole fire pit and I've moved the chair so I can lean on my van. <laughs> and now, now I am in full chill mode. Now it's nice. It's still far enough away from the van for it not to be a problem. But, uh, but yeah, a um, big mistake, not bringing a uh, deck chair. Nice. Nah, it's, it's like night tears. Yay. It's uh, 20 past eight. And I might have to move to the wine. I have brought some whiskey as well, so that will only be having that as a wee dram at the end of the night. You can't be having whiskey as a session. Not the whiskey I've brought anyway. That's his mint. It's proper mint. Love it. Good morning. Well, that was a nice sleep. As soon as I head hit the pillow, out like a light. Lovely. Oh, but what I did do is I set my alarm for about half seven. It went off and I snoozed it. And I woke up about eight and then uh, made a cuppa because I don't function without a coffee, as you know. And um, I had that cuppa. thought, oh, I'll lay down for five minutes. Yeah, it's ten past nine, so... <laughs> this is a lovely campsite. Absolutely love it. Um, I was reading on their um, website as well that the toilets have got underfloor heating and um, it's heated with, like, pellets and stuff, like this kind of environmentally friendly kind of sustainable thing. Uh, don't come here for technicals, but yeah, that's um, basically what to, is happening. I've got proper fire pit throat. <laughs> that's the problem when you sit in front of a fire pit all evening and you're just breathing in that smoke. It's horrible, but it is what it is. Branston had a lovely sleep. He keeps popping his head round and saying hello, uh, and I need to take him out for his uh, morning wee this morning and poo. So I'm sure he'll be ready to go. But yeah, I think it's just a case of 
tidying up, sorting out, and uh, getting on my merry way. Right, so it's all done, dusted. It's not really. I've just left it all set up. <laughs> I've spun the chair around uh, and put things away, and they're all secure and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I just can't be bothered this morning. I think sometimes you just have those moments. Sometimes I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, do you know what, let's make this look palatial before I set off. Not this morning, no. No, definitely not. So, thank you so much for watching this uh, week's video. I shall see you on the next video, whatever that may be. Uh, probably talking about like the induction hob and stuff. And then, uh, and then hopefully, um, a family camp. So, yeah, all's good in the hood. Right then, I'm going to see you guys on the next video and stuff. So, yeah, see ya. Bye.